hi and welcome to my channel kb we're saving 101 and i'm kb kim baker if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome uh i am a lifetime thrifter and i'm a reseller on the poshmark app i also am sending boxes in to thread up and today happens to be a thread up tuesday so if you are interested in reseller content and haul videos um tips and tricks then please hit that subscribe button down below because it really does help me out um this is thread up tuesday so i am boxing up things to send in to thread up um this is going to show you the items what they're going to value them maybe at and about the amount i will be getting hopefully if they accept all these items so uh, approximately i have 35 items that i'm going to be sticking in this box and i will say it does change uh, sometimes my box is too heavy or um i re-google something and i end up taking it out but um this is the main idea um and hopefully you get a good idea um but so like 35 items um i'm looking at hopefully about $1,697 if all these items are accepted and sell. Um, that would be an average price point of $48. So I am going to jump in. Um, also do me a favor, leave me a comment down below um, or make sure you give me thumbs up. I'm not sure if people are interested in this content. I will be doing my boxing because um, these are the items, most of them, that are not been listed in my Poshmark closet. And this gives me a record of its condition um, and just a great idea for myself to review um, as my journey goes along. So anyway, jumping on in to this box, I'll just go ahead and start off with um, shoes, put those at the bottom. Um, all right, so I have a pair of Clark um, Artesians. These are like a nursing style shoe. Uh, I will go through and be cleaning these up before I send them in. Um, the Clarks, they value these at about uh, 119, which means if um, I mark them up 80%, uh, that leads me to a $95. If I get 60% commission on that, that means I will be making $57 on these Artesians. Um, how ThreadUp works is when you send in your items, I personally am sending in Lux boxes, which means I have a Lux item, which is, um, and ordered a Lux label, which is different than their regular program. Um, and sending the items in, they have their, their listings. And if you look, they'll have the price that you can purchase it for like $36. And then they'll have the price next to it with the line crossed out. And that is what I call the value dollar. So the value dollar, when I send my items in, I can review whether I send them in Lux or regular, um, I can review the prices and I can raise the prices up to 80% of that valued dollar. So that's what I mean. And then, from there, when they sell, depending on what dollar amount they sell for, there is a commission tier. So just to give you an idea, um, the commission tier, um, I am trying not to send in anything that is not valued over $60 because I want to be paid more than 40 or I don't get like 30%, which equals a very small $12 payout, I believe. Okay. So um, how I look at this is I look at the item, I look up the value, I use their app when I go shopping. And um, so anything that's valued at $60 or above, I will consider sending in. And as I go, I'm gonna be changing my mind. Right now, I'm getting to the point of where I want everything to be like way over 100. But don't we all? You never know what your haul is gonna be. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going. I will tell you that if you are really interested in this, follow um, me on Instagram. Also follow 
um, Vandy's Closet. Check out her YouTube. Um, she also has a forum and she actually has a tool. I haven't got a chance to use it. I should have maybe done it for this video, but I didn't, um, where it shows your price point payout of what she thinks you're going to get when you send your items in. So, um, Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to show you the items. All right. So, yeah, I've already gone over uh, the artesian. I'm missing one. That's okay. There it is. No. Yes. All right. So the artesians, they go in the box. My next one, I had never heard of this Munro American. I don't know. All right. But these are valued actually pretty high. Um, uh, they value them at about 167 and sorry, I'm cheating. I'm looking at my notes. Um, so at 167, I can mark them to about 133 at my low end of 60%, if that's what I, I'm trying to do on the low end because I don't know. Um, so if a 60% payout of 133, that could be $80. Of course, they need a little bit of love, but hey, I'm going to try those out. All right. Let's see. I have a pair of i always slaughter the name gianni beanie they're valued at 89 so this particular payout would be about 35 which um i'm really good at uh good with um because you know i don't have to list them in my closet so i'm trying to work smarter and not harder these are timberlands and they value them at 107 and let's see um so at like even a 50, uh, uh, 85 is the mark if they sell at that i put 50 percent as the payout it would be like 42 dollars 80 i think that's fantastic they're going all right i think i have one more pair these are clark sandals and they value them at like 89 dollars which i do love clarks they are a very comfortable shoe um so it's hard for me to give them up but anyway uh they're not in my style so these are valued at 89 so basically the payout can possibly be 35 on these all right i'm gonna get rid of my big stuff my big items all right so from there Maybe I'll do the, I'll put the jacket next. I have this leather coat. It's only from Worthington. It is a size large, um, but it's nice, fully lined. It is zip up, does have the belt. I just do, do a little bit of cleaning, has pockets. It is a very nice jacket. Um, let's see, I think they value it at like a 107. So, um, can I write it down? Usually I was trying to write them on the tag, but probably not. All right, so if they value this at 107, as I model it for you, see, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> so uh, we take 107, oops, 107 times 80 percent. Oh, with first, yeah, let's make sure 107 times 80 percent. So that's like eight and 85 um, uh, that I can market to. If it was to 85, sell at about $85, I'll put it at like 50%. Um, it might be lower, it might be higher, but times 50% for payout could be $42.80 for this jacket, which, you know, I can list in my Poshmark closet. All these items I could, and, you know, I definitely would, but um, yeah, I'm trying to get more done. All right. I'm going to go on to then my coach purses. These have been sitting um, and I was going to try to stick them on my first box, but unfortunately my first box was a little too heavier than my scale was off and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, these, this one happens to be leather. Um, they value the coach purses quite high. Of course, it's been sitting in my closet for not even a year yet, but um, still I don't find that coach is really selling. Um, I probably wouldn't pick it up unless it sells on thread up. So, um, but they value the leather purses, the very low end at 395, which means I could mark it to 316, which is a possible of 252. Now, of course, I will be willing to take less than 252 for this, but um, yes, I would like it to sell. Um, I have another coach purse. This one happens to be vintage. Um, it's an 80s 
Uh, it starts with an M. I can't remember the name of the bag. But anyway, um, again, it's just been quietly sitting in my um, closet. So uh, they're non-leather. They have them. Um, 350 is what I looked at. So 280, maybe 224. And hey, you know, I am not going to be that greedy. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get into just whatever. In fact, you know what? I'm going to show you some things that I actually took out. Um, Chico's does really good, but Chico's by design, I thought I was going to throw, it's Chico's. I'll throw it in because Chico's, they usually mark very nicely. Um, unfortunately, Chico's by design, they do not. They only value this at 45, which is not going to give me a good payout. Um, I have some American Eagle jeans that I decided to take out of this box. They value them at about 50, which when I go to market, it's not going to be over 40. And if it doesn't sell for over 40, then guess what? Mm, I'm going to get paid less than $12. So, you know what? I could probably sell these for, you know, I'm, it's just a matter of. So for right now, I'll keep them and I'll see what I can do with them myself. Um, but we'll get back to all the stuff I am setting. All right. Uh, I have a Boost Boost dress, which I do love Boost Boost. This dress happens to be kind of very plain, so I figured I'll send this one in. It is a size six. It is a wrap dress, three quarter sleeve um, in this black and white print. So let's see what they value. Boost Boost is valued at um, $71 for their, uh, what do you call them? Their dresses is about what they they value them at. So if it's valued at 71, it's probably about $16. So, um, you know, for this dress, I'm willing to give that a shot and see if it works out. If I get paid more, how that works. Um, you know, some of it's an experimental because this is just my beginning of my journey. All right, I have Banana Republic. Now this one happens to be factory. I have two Banana Republic. So the factory one, um, I am looking at only making about 14. Um, and I know that these cham uh, chambray jean long sleeve, um, so this one is questionable for me. I, I still, you know, 14, that is for me, I think kind of low, but it, it if Banana Republic, it usually does sit. Um, although the style of dress usually sells very well for me. So I'm kind of torn, $14, but I don't have to list it and I don't have to stack and I don't have to send it and I don't have to deal with any of it. So I guess I'll give it a shot. Now I do have another one that is Banana Republic, but it is not factory, exact same style dress. So this will be a very interesting, um, um, it is a size zero and it's just like I said, a Banana Republic um, and it's got the tab sleeves, um, button down, long sleeve. So uh, this one, with that in mind, they pay it a little bit more. Let's see if I've got it. Um, 138, so I can mark it at 110, which means I could be at 66. So the difference between factory and regular Banana Republic, that's huge. Um, and yeah, but I'm going to give them both a shot. Let's see how that turns out for me. Okay, um, this was just in my haul not too long ago. I found two Antonio Milani. They value his casual dresses at $71, um, and I have two of them. So both of these valued at 71. Let's see, did I write it down? Probably not. All right, 71 value. Do, 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 do. Easier for me just to pull out, oh, $16, $16. So we'll see. I mean, I would like more than 16 for both of these dresses, uh, but again, I don't have to list, I don't have to deal with it. They all are small size, but I, they're styles that'll totally sell in my closet. So, but we'll see. Sending those out. Um, and I'm learning, like I said, I'm learning a lot. I'm using the app when I go shopping, I'm figuring out the value. And then when I come home, I go, oh, well, actually, you know, that really isn't the value I want to send. This one happens to be Maeve and it is by Anthropology because it has the RN number on it, which um, they have two Maves. One is regular and the other one 
is um, anthropology. So this particular Mabe dress, um, they value it at like $167, which means I could mark this to um, a potential of 133 and make about $80 off of it. So, um, and it's super cute. It is strapless, perfect for the season, fitting that in. Okay, this is a Lemire, this little crinkle material, fully lined, um, just a very casual like shirt dress, um, short sleeves. It does have that little detail cut out in the front of the neckline. Um, but Lemire, they value it at 60. So I can market it at 48, the potential is like $14, but I'm okay with that. Um, this one is Deletta. Da, da, da. Again, another uh, simple casual shirt style dress in this orange and white stripes with the side ruching, short sleeves, scoop neck, and it's a size small. So, uh, let's see, Delta 71. So um, I'm looking at about 17. If you guys have any questions, um, you can leave them down below. Uh, hopefully I can try to answer them, but yeah, uh, let's see. This is three dots. Oh, in case you don't know, this is the tag and literally it's called three dots, but they only show you three dots. So just in case you ever find that tag, that's exactly what it is. Um, again, this is a very simple, it's a mock crisscross, mock wrap, but has this cutout detail right in the top instead of it having being open, short sleeve, nice weight, red top. Um, and the size happens to be in down below. Oh, look at this. I'm so glad I'm paying attention. All right, I'm going to have to look at this. Unfortunately, I bet you this was a dress. And as I'm showing it to you, I find this looks like it has been cut. So guess what? I'll have to find a filler to stick in there because I don't believe this will be going, but I can stick this in my Poshmark closet and I'm sure it'll sell as a cute little top. <laughs> we'll see. See, it's always good to go through your stuff and go back through your stuff because yes, there's things I've pulled out. In fact, I did pull out another item. I'll show you that later on. Okay. Now this one I'm a little worried about. I'm hoping that it's gonna do okay. This is um, Zenergy by Chico's and it they do price things pretty good, but I'm not sure um, if they're gonna consider this a top or a hoodie. Um, but it is really super cute. Uh, again, I wouldn't have to list it. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do the right thing by sending it in um, and at least getting 17 for it. And you know, if they value it as maybe something more special, then it might the value should go up. All right, let's get it. Thank goodness, I got something a little more exciting. Uh, Lucky Brand and um, is this 100% cotton? I think it is. Is it linen? I think it's just cotton. Who knows? Of course. Um, this is a jacket. I don't think I could find it on there before. Yeah, I couldn't find it. That's why. Um, Lucky brand and zip up. Really cute. Drawstring. Um, it zips and snaps. So with this particular piece, um, they do value Lucky Brand pretty well. Um, and in fact, uh, they value the jackets at like 129, so I can mark it to 103 and hope for 61, which is higher than what I would get if I was to sell this on Poshmark. Okay. Now this is Jones New York Signature 1X, great size. It is a button down sheer blouse with like a mandarin collar long sleeves and just this uh, window pane or um, kind of a sheer pattern to it. Um, but the Jones and the Orc, I have signature valued at 89. So there's a possible $35. Okay. You can see how big the difference on some of these items are. So um, I, yeah, trying to get those higher dollars. This happens to be a Knarr skirt um their casual skirts go for about 89 dollars and um so 
this is a possible $35. And um, it's just this really super cute cream lace um, elastic waistband. So um, anyway, uh, $35 sounds fantastic to me. Now, Ann Taylor, I love Ann Taylor, and for some reason she does sit. Um, this is an absolutely adorable, almost, yeah, look at this. It's in red. It has this um, embroidery detail with also um, these uh, small beads. So it is, what, size 8? So we're, we're looking at this skirt. Um, they're going to value it at 79, so it's going to give me about 18. But also, you know, because Ann Taylor sits for quite a while, um, a fast 18 is better than a slow 18. Okay. All right. So this one happens to be Karen Kane size two. Now I'm only in question because this is Karen Kane lifestyles. There is not a selection for that. I don't know if that's just her name of her petites, but it is a small little tiny two size two skirt. Um, and so, but her Karen Kane, um, not Karen, but Karen Kane, they value them at $89, which could mark to $71, which equals $35. So I'm going to send that in. Okay. Surprisingly enough, um, whoops, as I drop this, uh, this is Romeo and Juliet. And this is just a very simple casual dress. It has a um, little tie, a mock um, tie in the front, crisscross, uh, and uh, very simple. Uh, they value Romeo and Juliet couture very high. Um, I did send in a blouse, and so I can't wait to see how that does. But let's see, where do they have their dresses, their casual dresses? Uh, I know I put it down. Romeo, Romeo, where are though? Romeo, oh, 167, which means I can mark it to 133, which could be a possible $86 sale. Okay. Now here's Ann Taylor Loft. They value all of her dresses at like $80. This is super cute, super sweet. It's a small size, size two. I am also trying to focus on not getting small sizes. Um, I always find small sizes. So I am sending a lot of my small sizes in to see how well they do there. Um, if they do better, then maybe I'll keep picking them up and sending them in. If um, they end up coming back and not selling, then yes, I'm going to just totally stay away from small tags. I hate to say that, guys. Um, so like with an Ann Taylor Loft, where is she at? I know she's written down my $80 value. Da, 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 da. That's just... Da, da, da. Oh, $80 value. Um, can mark it to 64, which would be like a 35, I guess, percentage payout would be $22. So that's a good payout, $22. Um, you know, a lot of people can't get that, those types of prices for Ann Taylor on Poshmark. Um, I mark mine up, but, you know, there's a lot of people selling for cheaper. In fact, this is another Ann Taylor Loft, so it's, again, going to be the same thing. Um, $80 value. I, I have possibly $22, if not higher. It's super cute, exposed back zipper, almost like an illusion front with like this um, peacock, I want to say peacock kind of, of um, lace. So I'm sending that in. All right, now this one, I kind of question myself whether I should send this in. This is a brand called Earthbound. It is a size large um, and it is just a very simple Again, almost like a little shirt dress with this gold print on it. So, um, I do love funky things. But let's see. Um, so, I'm not going to make much off of this when I send it in. Earthbound. Oh, there it is. Right there. Earthbound. Um, they're going to value it at 60, which means it'll be 48. And if I get 25%, that means it's $12. But you know what? I'm not listing it. I'm not storing it. I'm going to let go let it go all right i do not like frozen or <laughs> i'm not um a big frozen repeat fan so excuse my singing all right uh, these are ann taylor loft um and this is the marissa cut and i believe these are linen pants 
Um, I think they'll do great. They're a size six. Again, they would value them at 80. So my payout would be about $19 on these. Again, this is something I would list in my closet. Unfortunately, she just sits her sells slower. So hopefully this speeds the process up. Fast money's always good money. All right, another Ann Taylor Loft. So an $80, 64 I can mark it. Another 19 to 22 um, as my price. This one happens to be in a navy. Um, so a little eyelet um, fit and flare. That'll be great. All right, and let's see. If any of you have experiences that you want to, you know, mark them down below. Um, I have another couple items that I did pull out, and I'll show you those at the end. How's that? Uh, let's see. This is a limited collection, size four. Um, value on it is like 70, so I can mark it to 56, which means a $16, hopefully, commission sale. Okay. I have this Banana Republic size four. Really cute, polka dotted, look at that, 60 style. I think that'll do very well. Um, they value um, Banana Republic very high. So at 118, um, I can mark it to 94, which is a possible $47 for the skirt. And um, I think it's right on trend as far as the polka dots. Um, I love the 60s flare, so hopefully somebody unique goes through and finds that. Okay, um, this is an absolutely gorgeous dress. And no, I didn't try it on, and I am trying to get out of the house before I do. So this is a Banana Republic, size 6. It is in this cream and has this texture print to it. It is gorgeous. Um, it really, I, should, I don't know, I should keep it. I should try it on before I send it. Who knows, this could be like my little wedding dress. Um, anyway, uh, it is a factory, though. So guess what? This one might not go. I didn't realize it is a factory. Um, and uh, I should probably take a look. I know I've got some. Where is it at? Factory, factory, Banana Republic. Banana Republic factory. <gasps> Oof. It says 14. Yeah, you know what? This won't go. See, it's really good to go back through these things. This is a gorgeous dress, and I know that I could sell this, and I would probably list this for about $60 in my Poshmark closet. Um, I definitely think it would sell. It's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I guess I have to find some items to fill my box because it's not all going to be going. All right, uh, let's see. This is not your daughter's jeans. They are a Samantha Slim. They're in this blue... Um, and they are what size two petites. Um, they value not your daughter's jeans at 143, which means I can mark them to 114. And if they sell for $68, oops, that would be a total score because they won't sell for that on Poshmark. So um, my only concern is they are skinny. Um, I don't want them to consider anything jeggings because, you know, they consider jeggings as a lower value. So this is kind of like a little test market. We'll see how it goes. But blue is also supposed to be like one of the colors of this, of this year. So we'll see. All right. These are uh, Chico's. They're regular Chico's. Um, they value their pants at like 79, which means I can mark them to 63. So that's about a $19 sale. And they're there. These are the cute, like in a jean material, but in a pink. Um, it's not, color's not quite picking up, but, um, so I figure, okay, I'll send those in, um, that'll sell. All right. This one happens to be Banana Republic, and this one is straight Banana Republic. So they value, um, regular Banana Republic at 138. So hopefully this is going to be like $66 for me in this cute, um, tink tiered dress with this. Um, exposed zipper back in black and white. All right. A couple more items, and then I'll show you the ones I took out of the box because uh, you learn as you go. Uh, this is a, Laf a Lafayette 148. Okay, Lafayette 148, and it's just a pullover long sleeve shirt. What do they value? Lafayette 148. We all know it's an expensive brand. It just doesn't sell for a lot of money on 
Poshmark. So, um, Lafayette 148, they value the shirt at $368, which means I could mark it to $294. That is a possible $235 sale. Um, that's phenomenal. I can't wait to see how Lafayette 148 does. Um, you know, great brand, just doesn't sell on Poshmark. All right, this one surprised the living daylights out of me. This is pink tartan, and I had never picked it up before. I've had it for a while, sitting in my, sitting for me in my money pile, not my death pile. Call it your money pile, um, and it is this white um, sleeveless uh, dress, and it is really cute. Um, you know, pink tartan. I don't know if you did. I show you the tag. I like seriously could barely read pink. I had to type, I had to like go through and Google a bunch of different, um, I hadn't heard of it. Well, this happens to be just a tiny little gold mine. Um, let me see. What do I have? Pink Tartan. They value their casual dresses at $395. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm loving that. All right. At $395, I could mark it to $316. That is a possible $250 on one item. All right, so my last item, and I am so torn about sending these in. Oops, I got upside down. All right, so these are cache, size four. I love selling cache. I have made a quick $35 um, sale on my items almost every time I've listed cache, and these pants are a size four, and they are to die for. Look at that. They've got this this cutout crochet and beaded detailing. Um, so I am torn, but I am going to send them in because at the low end, this is a possible um, like $64 sale. So, um, you know, I definitely would rather have that. All right, I'm going to show you the other items I pulled out. All right. Um, I was going to stick this in my last box. It didn't make it to my last box. It is an Ann Taylor. It's got two dots, so it's going to be a factory. Um, it was new at times, but I noticed it says compared at 169. So because it's not really a tag that says 169 and it says compared at, um, I'm thinking I'm going to keep this and list this in my closet because like I said, I just pulled out another factory. So watch and make sure you're not sending in factories. All right. So, um, the other thing I did pull out was, um, this Catherine's tank. I will list this in my closet because yeah, I'm not going to make, but if they value it very low, which, you know, they are asking for tanks, but seriously shirts, sleeveless shirts, they don't make, you don't get much money on them. So watch, um, when you're looking them up, make sure you're looking up the material. Um, of course, it's 100% silk. It's going to be a higher value. This is just a basic little tank, and I am. It's in a nice material. It's not like a cotton. Uh, well, it's not. Maybe cotton goes more. I don't know. But um, I'm not putting it in either. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. Um, again, um, if you haven't, I am on uh, Instagram and Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. I am even on TikTok. Um, and I do give out a lot more information there. Um, again, don't forget, Vandy's Closet does have a lot of info and I really do enjoy following her um, and getting tips from her. So um, again, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again next time.